Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our today's lecture is about the electrolysis of molten compound. So here in this experiment, which we are going to conduct here, it is basically on electrolysis of lead to bromide. So which we are going to use is the electrolysis of lead to bromide. So lead to bromide is having formula PbBr2. So lead to bromide is going to be melted first. So to find out what happens when lead to bromide is electrolyte, first of all, we have to set up an experiment like this. How we are going to use and which apparatus we will use, I would like to give you this understanding. We will use two electro electrodes. Uh, these are the two electrodes in which are elect electrolytes, graphite electrodes or carbon rods. We will use the word carbon rods. So carbon rods will be used as electrodes so carbon rods are the electrodes so these are are two both of these two are are electrodes so these carbon rods are electrodes okay so these are the carbon rods are called as electrodes so if we will use this carbon rod and if we will connect one rod to the negative terminal of the battery and another we will connect rod with the carbon rod with the positive terminal of the battery then we will say that the negative electrod is the cathode and positive electrod is the anode so we will name it cathode and anode with respect to their charges on it and heat the lead to bromide okay to melt it because in solid state ionic compounds cannot conduct electricity i already have told you in the introduction of the electrolysis so you people uh, first see the definition what basically electrolysis before starting this lecture and uh, you have to know about the carbon rods which are graphite graphite is only known metal which can conduct electricity so set up the apparatus like this Heat the lead to bromide, melt it, then connect the battery and pass a current. When we will connect a battery, then pass and correct, pass the current through the molten, through the molten lead bromide. So here we will have molten, molten lead to bromide. So we will use this molten lead to bromide. So it will be our electrolytes through which electric current can pass through battery. So while the current is flow, observe what happens around the positive electrode and what happens uh, around the negative electrode. So, so we have to observe what happens here. Okay, remove two carbon, uh, remove the carbon rods from the molten lead bromide using tongues. After the experiment, we will use the tongue. We will check what basically left behind. So in crucible into a small beaker, uh, lead bromide will be uh, whatever you will get it, you will get in the. So after this experiment, remove these carbon rods, okay, from the molten lead to bromide using the tongues. Tongues is an apparatus through which we will use and get out something from the crucible. Uh, and we will uh, bromide out of the crucible into a small beaker examine the bottom of the crucible to find out what other substance is disused in the electrolysis what we will get after this experiment what is left behind so uh, what we will do what is going to happen here in this uh, experiment i will describe you by using this picture okay at the anode at the anode, the bromide ions give its electrons to the electrode become bromine molecule. Actually, bromine, bromide ions give give its electrons to become bromine mol atom, and this bromine and all the halogens are not stable as a monatomic form. It, it are they are stable in diatomic form, so so readily they will form bromine molecule. So bromide ion gives up its electrons so minus is showing the charge on the bromide atom basically electron so it will give its electron to become bromine atom so all the bromide ions start giving its electrons and become bromine atom so bromide ions is going to give its electrons to become its position like bromine 
molecule so it will become like bromine molecule bromide ions have been discharged we will say now the term discharge i already have discussed the terms used in electrolysis you can check it over there so so discharge means the bromide ions have been discharged the bromine is seen as reddish brown gas around the anode so bromine uh, gas will be seen here during the electrolysis process so overall if we will say that uh, lead bromide is going to be split into or decomposed into lead metal and bromine gas and after that we will see it uh, we will see at the cathode so uh, we will say that lead ions are have been discharged here so the which ion is going to there so positive ions are going to attract it towards the negative electrode negative ions are going to be attracted towards the positive electrode so negative will move towards the positive electrode and positive ions may will move towards the negative electrode so lead will move towards the cathode cathode is the negative electrode so lead is formed at molten like uh, formed as molten globules at the bottom of the crucible so these are the molten globules of lead globules of lead after the experiment if the observations are going to be asked then you will say that uh, uh, molten metal is present and at the bottom of the cathode and reddish brown gas is produced at anode so these are the observations which we will make during the process of electrolysis so when a molten ionic compound is electrolyzed a metal is discharged at the cathode so this comes from the positive ion so metal will discharge at the cathode and it will come towards the positive ion and here our positive ion is the lead pb2 plus so this is our uh, positive electrode uh, sorry positive ion which is going to be discharged as metal at the cathode so here if we will talk about a non metal is produced at the anode at the anode it comes from the negative ions in the ionic compound so this is an ionic compound so pb2 plus will are the positive ions or the cations where bromide ions are the anions so this whole process is basically the to and fro of the electric current electrons are going to be taken or pulled from the bromide ion and converted into bromine molecule it will takes the electron and move through the circuit and give its electron to the metal ion that is the lead ion so lead ion is going to take those electrons which are coming from the anode at the cathode ions are going to take the electron so this is the way through which electricity is going to convert here in the solution electrolyte is present that is our lead bromide electrons are moving from the anode to the cathode and this is the process through which electro current electric current is passed and this is the process of electro electrolysis where an ionic compound in molten or aqueous form decompose into its elements like lead and bromine so this is all of the electrolysis of uh, mm, all the process of the electrolysis of molten compounds so you people can practice okay you people can practice it by using this table so this is a table on which you have to write what basically the ions in electrolyte reaction at anode reaction at cathode product at anode and product at cathode so these are the molten electrolytes which we will use and answer all of these respectively after taking some time you have to pause the video here and solve it and you can check your answers like this okay this these are the answers for all of these molten electrolytes i hope so that you people have learned well consistency is the key of success so signing off miss aisha manzoor